So here, um, during the final, for part A, during the final distance equaling 12 meters and the work equaling zero joules, we can say that the uh, potential energy initial plus the, poten uh, the kinetic energy initial plus the potential energy initial equals K sub two plus U sub two plus the work done by friction. Uh, this would of course be, again, the work done by friction or by kinetic friction. And we can say that um, this will be zero, this will be zero, this will be zero. And so we have one half mv squared, and then this would be equal to the force of kinetic friction times d. Um, and we know that here we're going to find the force of friction kinetic. This would simply be equal to mv squared divided by 2d. This is equaling 0.42 kilograms multiplied by the speed of 4.2 meters per second quantity squared divided by uh, 2 times 12 meters, and we find that the force of kinetic friction is equaling 0.31 newtons. Uh, therefore, the change in thermal energy would be equal to the force of kinetic friction times the distance, so 0.31 newtons uh, multiplied by 12 meters, and uh, we have that the change in thermal energy would be equal to 3.7 joules. This would be our final answer. For part B, uh, we know that using the force of kinetic friction uh, equaling 0.31 newtons, and then the entire distance d total equaling 14 meters, we can obtain that the total change in thermal energy uh, would be equal to again, 0 0.31 newtons, and then here, multiplied by 14 meters instead of 12. This is equaling 4.3 joules. Uh, we can then say for part C, during the final D prime, this would equal two meters. The final two meters of motion, we have that the work would be equal to the change in mechanical energy uh, plus the change in thermal energy. Uh, this would be equal to the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy plus the work done by friction. And so this is going to be, we know that this is going to be equal to zero. So the work done would be equal to one half mv squared plus the force of friction kinetic times d. Um, this essentially combines equation 831 and 833. And this is equaling one half times 0.42 kilograms multiplied by 4.2 meters per second quantity squared plus 0.31 newtons multiplied by 2 meters d prime, the final two, uh, two meters of motion. So the work done here is 4.3 joules. This would be our answer for part C. This is our answer for part B, and again our answer for part A. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.